took over the road. They lay end to end, foot to head, all the way down the high street, so no traffic could get through. And the whole town was on standstill. Hello, uh, I've got lots of memories of Arts Fresco. Arts Fresco is a unique and exciting street theatre festival that takes place in Market Harbour every year. Um, we had such a, a day starting with breakfast, as you say, in the yard and then going through until night time when everybody stayed together. And gosh, did we have some lively acts. Now, the acts that I remember best were from years ago was Edmund Tal. Um, the guy in the bowler hat with his little suitcase with all the sounds coming out of it. And... Closely followed by the, uh, a lot of children, yeah, sort of enthralled by what he was doing. And, uh, followed a little bit further behind by the steward that was supposedly uh, looking after him. I've got really clear memories of him standing outside the bank playing sirens and machine gun sounds as people went and got money out. Be the bubble wizard uh, who we had here I think in 2019 uh, when he came to the town and he had an array of uh, uh, magic uh, and equipment to make some of the largest bubbles known to man. Well, there was a particular French group who were a brass band. And it was before we did the road closures. And we had a lovely, lovely French company who I adore, Les Groom. This band arrived opposite W.H. Smith in the high street and literally lay down in the middle of the road. They completely took over the road. They lay end to end, foot to head, all the way down the high street so no traffic could get through and the whole town was on standstill with um, actually lots of good spirit. People were kind of confused and happy and enjoying the chaos which came from this wonderful band. So that we did decide after that that perhaps we ought to start doing road closures. Probably about 2016 or so, um, for the first couple of years we'd had the Bureau of Silly Ideas who had brought what they called the menagerie, which was sort of the, the wheelie bins and the plant pots that sort of spray water at you and, and chase you around. Um, so we'd had them for a couple of years and then this particular year we, we, we didn't have them. Um, and I'd walked out the Harbour Theatre and there was a couple standing next to a wheelie bin. And one of the people there said, yeah, we'll do something in a minute. Around like the, the piano that goes along the, 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 the road. And... It has to be four years ago, there were two guys uh, dressed as Frenchmen in the centre of town with an old Citroen car and it was just all going wrong for them and it was just bonkers. Oh, the dinosaurs. Uh, I remember the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. And every year we always get asked when are the dinosaurs coming back. And those huge dinosaurs fill up the square and just remember turning up the high street towards the grammar school and saw these four massive dinosaurs just strolling along the high street towards the square. As stewards we had to make sure that it didn't hit anybody but uh, unfortunately we had to get a little bit closer and I very nearly got knocked over by the dragon's tail. Uh, and of course Mark, Mark uh, who's been one of our most loyal supporters and will be again with us though virtually this year online. Every year brings fun and creative talents from across the world to the streets of Market Harbour and it's real joy to see that. My favourite memory I think is The Lift which is a very small theatre company that actually takes place in a lift so it's, the stage is absolutely minute and it involves the audience, it's interactive and it's just so barking mad. The King Brastards. I remember this so well. We were forecast rain on this day. It's been a bit drizzly. And as soon as this talented group started playing a famous Jungle Book number, the sun came out and everyone was dancing in the street. That was absolutely brilliant. Would have been going to the very first festival. And I just remember it being an incredibly magical and engaging and quite unexpected event. I was only about nine or ten and I think I was sort of the perfect age to be completely bowled over by it. Um, and the fact that my granddad had done that was, was quite amazing to me. We had a company called Osadia, this was 2008, and they were from Barcelona. When they were in the festival they were like um, flamboyant hairdressers and they styled people's hair. It was, there was a guy with sort of curl, his hair was turned blue and curls, he had a boat on his head. Um, and my friend's mum had sort of these spikes and these, these sort of patches all over it that matched her dress. 
um, and they were fantastic because what it then did as well, it meant the festival sort of carried on um, and you just saw people throughout the day who'd obviously been, had their hair done by Osadia. I hope you will enjoy the new edition of Ars Fresco 2020 online this year and that we will see you in person in Ars Fresco 2021. Thank you.